Hello Zebrahead, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're trying Drawn to Life Two Realms. It seems like the Drawn to Life series is back very suddenly. This game was just only, I think announced like very recently, and now it's out. Um, I never really played one, but as I know, they sort of got popular on the Nintendo DS where you could actually draw your characters and stuff. So I'm playing on the PC right now, but this is also available on the Nintendo Switch and probably a couple of other consoles. Very excited to take a look at it. So let's get started with Drawn to Life Two Realms. <clears throat> hey creator, I never wanted to be mayor. My dad was the best there was and I knew I couldn't live up. But the darkness came. I cried out to you for help and you gave us a hero. The darkness stole my dad, but our village stood strong. But then the color faded and we fled, traveling the world, restoring each island. This time the darkness claimed noble intentions and we prepared for the end of something. But then the, but the end I thought was coming ended up as a new beginning. I know what I need to do, but I fear it's too late for Mike and our world. So I feel like there's a little bit of context there from like the previous games that I don't know too much. I don't know who Mike is. Uh, I, I didn't know this person was the mayor, but now I do. Oh, the, the little Pixar, so cute. So I'm not really too familiar with any of these characters at all. I found what you were looking for. Do you think we still have time? It's hard to know. The human realm is different. Night is day, day is night. They have small years as well. Oh no. How do you know? Reposa, yeah, Reposa, the, the font's a little weird on this, I'm sorry. Reposa can't go there. Well. Ah, I understand. I guess I'll go see the creator. So are we the creator? Do we play as the creator? Forgetting something? Aw, oh, did they give like a little hug? No, okay, they gave her, he gave her something. The Book of Imagination. It allows you to enter the mind of another. Extract what's wrong and overcome the challenge. And he's leaving. I just hope this hero is up to the challenge. They will be. I know it. All right then, so I guess we're the hero, we're not the creator. Oh, this is a cool little house. I really like the art style so far. Is this our house? Hey, sorry about venting earlier. I should have come here sooner. We need a hero. I can't help him, at least not from here. Oh, so this is where we get to make our character. So she was she was talking to us, the player, I guess. It's a little weird. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time on this, but like this is this is a big part of the game is being able to like, and I'm using my mouse and keyboard right now. But you could use, I guess, like the Nintendo Switch. I thought that'd be a little bit difficult. But this is where the game was very popular on the DS. And you can see there are some templates you can start on and stuff. Uh, and obviously, if I really, really wanted to, I could probably go through this and painstakingly make you know, like my own Zebra character. That would be super cool. The only problem is it would just take a lot of time for one video. Um, so I'm just gonna start with, you know, something. 
Maybe I'll give myself like a little... I'm also not much of an artist. It's very hard to draw as it is, but uh, drawing on a mouse with hooves makes it much more difficult. But you can also like, you know, use the template. Yeah, 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 like customize some stuff. So that's pretty cool if you're like into doing that kind of thing. So you can give them like mix match stuff if you wanted to. Uh, and one of these, oh, we got stamps. So we can get sunglasses. Sunglasses are cool. Um, hmm, anything else too interesting here? Not too much. Maybe I'll change the head though. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of different options, actually. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. Uh, I think we'll go with the ninja. We'll go with the ninja for now. Like I said, I'm not gonna put too much stake in this. Obviously, if you do enjoy this first video, let me know. We'll start a full series. Maybe we'll just start from scratch again and I will actually go through and make a character more detailed. But just for today's video, there we go. Sounds good to me. Let's finish for now. Do you wanna save an exit? Sure. I'll still call myself Ze Zebra just for the, you know, case of the, today's video. But I wanna just, just sort of get into as much gameplay as we can for today's video. Zipa, you're back. Thanks, creator. So no, we, the player, are the creator, and I guess that's so weird. We're like two characters at once. I'm sure this will work. Uh, it looks a bit strange. Nothing like a human. Well, it wasn't supposed to. Humans are all a bit weird. Got it. So I guess they'll see the hero as one of them. I don't know about that. Uh, Zebra, this look will allow you to travel between both realms. It also lets you enter the mind of anyone you meet. You'll be able to use your imagination to make sense of what's going on. Bring order to the chaos. The problems in the mind aren't always what you would expect. Don't let this book fall into the wrong hands. It can be a dangerous weapon. I know you'll protect it and use it responsibly. I'm curious what it feels like. <laughs> Let's try it out. Mary's Mind Dojo. Practice your new power on Marie. I, I think Marie, yeah. I, I hope she knows what she's doing. Three stages. So this seems to be a big core mechanic of the game is jumping into people's minds and helping them out. Marie's Mind Dojo, stage one of three. Traverse, traverse the stage and reach the accent. The basics. You have entered into Marie's imagination. Work your way through the stages to help her. Reach the open gate to progress to the next level. Use WASD to control your character and space to jump. When you're ready to start, click play in the top right corner. Okay, so I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So can I like jump on these characters? Like is this, yeah, like Mario style so far? Boing. This is pretty cool. Okay, I like it. Awesome, good jump there. And we made it. So yeah, I guess it's mostly a platforming game with some creative elements to it. Marie's Mind Dojo Stage 2 of 3. Defeat. Defeat all of the toys and reach the exit. Stun and Elimination. To open the next gate, you will need to eliminate all the toys in the stage. Jump on top of the toys to stun them for a few seconds. Then jump on the stunned toys to eliminate them. So we gotta jump on them twice. So we have eight toys in total to defeat here. Let's get to it. Just like that. I get it, I get it. This is pretty cool. A lot of people seem to be very excited that this game series was coming back. Um, like I said, a lot of people played them on the DS. I always sort of got the game series mixed up with Scribblenauts, which is, we've actually played a couple of Scribblenauts games now. We played through Scrib Scribblenauts Unlimited, um, the DC Comics one, and the newest one, Scribblenauts Showdown. And they're really cool, but they are definitely a different type of game. That's more of a puzzle game. So far, this seems to a lot more be a platformer. By the way, there's that stage done, and the third and final one, traverse the stage and reach the exit. Build mode. Oh no, it looks like Marie needs some help with imagining where some toys should be placed. Let's place them ourselves. Drag the toys from the toy bar, and then place them into the build, build grid. Click and hold to pick it up a toy and move it. Click on a toy to change direction. To remove all toys, click the X in the lower left next to the tray. So this is interesting. 
um, we sort of get to make our own level here. And I guess with this, we'll be able to sort of just make our way through. There we go. That seems good to me. So we can make your own level. We try to survive all this. Gotcha. Whoa, oh, my jumping time there. My jump timing wasn't so good. Whoa, hey, oh no. Does that not count? Oh darn, I messed it up. Could I, let me try that again. So he will fall off. I gotta be careful of that. Maybe I could put him, can I move him? Yeah, put him here. Play. I don't know if that will really, ow, be all that much better, ow. Oh, I'm losing pieces of my character when I do that. I gotta be careful. Ooh, no, no, <laughs> we've lost our clothes. We're just a mannequin now. Oh no, quickly, let me bounce up. Okay, see that time, you turned around at the end. Why didn't you the last time? Very silly. Okay, we did it. Now let's go get some more clothes. <laughs> it's very drafty around here. Level passed and raised mind dojo. You made it, now let's put those skills to good use. All right, well, there we go. We got our platforming skills figured out a little bit. Ha, great job. I wonder what type of challenges you'll face in the mind of a human. Anyway, I won't waste any more of your time. Go find Mike and convince him to visit us here in Rappaville. I have something important to tell him. I don't know what situations you'll face in the human realm. I wish I could go with you. If you ever need any advice, come visit me in the town hall. I'll be waiting. Well, thank you so much for all the uh, guidance so far. Can we move around? Oh, not quite, whoa. Here we go, I guess we're going into the human realm. So how often will we be jumping between the two realms and getting things done? I guess we'll find out. Oh, this is super cute, so this is the human realm. I love the art style of this game so far. I really like pixel art. Uh, it's just personally one of my more favorite gaming art styles, and this looks really good. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we look so weird compared to them, we're so huge. What's going on over here? I like to look at that scooter you got. Give it here. Oh, he's a bully. That's not good. Hey, what's gone into you? Hey, shut it and give Tony what he wants. No way. Oh, that's Mike. Didn't they? Didn't somebody say something about Mike before? I think. So you brought. So you brought back a <laughs> a seven foot tall ninja. Backup? What? I. Scooter thieves beware. This kid's gonna take Mike's scooter, not on your watch. All right then, so it looks like we have three stages here. What's gonna be different this time? So for right now, we're just traversing. Super bounce. If you need a bit more height, try jumping off a toy. Hit the, the jump button when you land on a toy to get an extra high jump. All right, sure. So, I love how we can preview the level before we go through it. We can know sort of what, like, what we're up against. That's always pretty cool. There we go, got that super jump. This guy's looking pretty cool, whoa. Can I, ow, I don't know if I can actually, there we go, we got him. Got these little jelly dudes too, they're cool. Oh, I like the the, the dino uh, fossil in there. Oh no, ooh, I sorta of messed it up though. Wait, okay, well actually that might be a good thing. Cause now I can bounce. Uh, darn, I still messed it up though. Okay, it's fine. I don't think we need every coin ever, you know? I think we'll be fine making our way through. Stage complete. Defeat all the toys and reach the accent. Okay, very similar level setup, but it looks like the door will not open until we get all the toys. Which does definitely make it uh, a little bit more challenging. Okay, whoa, and he picked up the coins for me. Oh, and he's all dizzy. That's pretty cool, actually. There we go. Be sure to get some of that. Oh, and that took the toy out. There we go. 
Excellent. All right, there's another stage complete. Stage three of three, traverse the stage and reach the exit. And now we get to place some of them. So for this one, I'm thinking the jelly would be a good idea. Over here. Actually, this is a little bit weird, but maybe I do put this here. Weird, I can't like reselect it. I'll just start from scratch. Get that there. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it there for now. Awesome, let's, let's just give it a try. If it doesn't work, we'll try again. Oh yeah, that, that's gonna work just fine. I think, I'm a little nervous. Ooh. Yeah, we made it, we made it. Oh, but up here, I didn't see that. Ah, oh, not quite. Okay, can I go back to building then? And actually, there we go. Place them up like that. Oh no, that's gonna be a problem. We need him to get back up. I think I can make this jump. Yes, I can. Oh no, okay, that works, that works. I don't think I need to defeat him to move on though. I just need the coins and stuff. That's not quite enough height though. Oh no! So I was right, I need this guy to be here, I think. All right, play. So first my goal is to do that. Actually, what might be faster, if I right click them, I can turn them around like that. And at first it might be a little bit more awkward, but I think it'll give me a better chance to figure that out. Oh no. Ah, oh, but I messed, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, darn, you know what, once again, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, I wanna continue with the level. But I still can't get up here. That's so weird. Am I doing something wrong here? I'm trying to time it just right. Oh, there we go, okay. I guess I really did. Uh, level pass, scooter thieves beware. From the free throw line you shoot, nothing but the, the Baki of net. I don't know what that means. Ow, ow, ow. Huh? Why do I feel so weird? What are you waiting for? Grab his scooter. Why would I want, a, my, want Mike's dumb scooter? So I guess we just sort of convinced him to not take the scooter. See you on the court, I want you, won't let you win next time. Oh, so he seems a lot nicer now though. Let me win? Yeah, okay. What happened to the scooter though? <laughs> Who are you? I haven't seen any you around town before. Well, nice to meet you, Zebra, I'm Mike. Yeah, because I was supposed to meet my sister at the general store. See you around, Zebra. Well, that was certainly interesting. Welcome to Bellevue. Seems like a nice town. So I met Mike. Oh, what is this little fruit? Speed boost, cool. So I'm supposed to be going this way. This is interesting. So we get to walk around this area. Oh, hello. 73 is the new 40. Well, that seems good for you. Uh, oh, there's more speed boost fruit. Can't wait for football season to start. Everybody's so casual here, I love it. Uh, hello. Can't wait for the next science fair. We've got some coins laying around too. Hello. So who's this? I guess one of Mike's friends. Sorry I'm late. So we're just following Mike around. I got a little held up. You're always late, I can't depend on you for anything. This is Heather. Like that time you didn't even show up for my birthday. Whoa there. That was two years ago. Yeah, well, it just goes to show how little you care. Got a balloon set up for you and everything. Aw. Oh, hello. What are you looking at? Uh, sorry. 
S sibling revelry. So I guess uh, they're siblings. Looks like Heather was about to blow a gasket. Better give Mike a hand. So do we just run around and solve Mike's problems? <laughs> this is a very interesting game so far. Sibling revelry. Uh, traverse the stage and reach the exit. Uh, oh, and we can zoom out too. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's new enemies here. Can't really move them though. Uh, let's play. So I'm sure they're gonna be firing out something or other. Yeah, they got these little rockets. Oh, so I can actually take out the rocket launchers even. That might make it a little bit easier. Ow, <laughs> if I aimed my jump correctly, that is. There we go. Ow. Oh, maybe not. I am playing on keyboard. I, I was not expecting to prefer a controller for this game because I thought there might have been like a lot of drawing to it. So far, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought that the drawing to the drawn to life mechanic or the whole idea would have been more in the game, but so far you just sort of draw your character and then it's a platformer game, which is a little weird. It's just not what I was expecting. Um, I'm gonna say it's not a good game. I haven't played enough of it to say that. Oh, and I didn't notice, I don't know if there has been every time, but there's a timer to this one. And I guess it doesn't matter too much if we take out all the enemies or not. It doesn't really seem to ah, do anything for us. There we go. Oh. All right, ready? Ow, no I'm not. If I could get over here, jump off the rocket. There we go, level complete. One more stage, let's get to it. It looks like we keep our same amount of health. Traverse the stage and reach the exit. This time we get to choose where they're gonna be, which is a pretty cool idea. It does make us sort of have to think a lot. Put it there, there. I think we want this here, and then this there. Apply. Now let's see how long we can go without having to touch the floor. Whoa, whoa, I can booty slam? There we go. Awesome. Oh no, can you give me more please? Thank you. Uh, can I make it? Yes, there we go. I did the whole level without having to touch the floor until the end. Uh, nice, now to make sure Mike doesn't miss any more birthdays. That one might be a little bit less up to my control. D do I know you? This is Zebra, I just met him over by the library. They're new around here. Hi Zebra, I'm he Heather. <clears throat> I'm definitely not new around here. <laughs> Sorry for yelling at you. Not sure why I was so upset. Seems kind of silly now. Yeah, you seem to lose it for a minute there. Anyway, I brought Uncle Owen's credit card. He just wants the, the normal groceries. Hey, you, get, get over here. I'm not letting you get away this time. Who is this? Oh, okay, maybe not the right voice. Well, Mr. Esso? I know you stole a, back, a pack of Excito stickers. You better give it back. Mike, you what? What's wrong with you? I didn't steal anything. I don't even know what Excito stickers are. All right, so I guess we're gonna be helping. Blaming Big Wake. Watch out, hero. Mr. Esso is, or Eso is trying to stick Mike down over stickers. Honestly, if he has sufficient proof to prove that Mike stole them, why doesn't he contact the authorities? I don't understand what he's trying to do here. Defeat all the toys and reach the exit. You can slam the ground with extra force. Yeah, I just saw that. Press S while in the air to perform a ground pound. You can use this to get extra air off the trampolines. Eliminate toys and even break bricks. Cool. All right then, so gotta defeat all the toys to get through this one. Might make it a little bit more difficult, but we'll figure it out. I wonder if that can, yeah, just totally get rid of them without having to squish them multiple times over. So that's pretty cool. Whoa, we got this angry birds kind of bird here dropping eggs on us. There we go. She, she just floats in the middle of the air. And then finally, slam. Right through that stuff. There we go. Feed all the enemies. Got all the coins. 
Good first stage. Blaming Bigwig. Defeat all the toys in your exit. Wow, what's going on with this one? That platform looks a little weird. Interesting. So that'll make that platform fall, which I guess is what we want. Whoa, okay. So the platform is bouncing. And I will bounce off of you real quick. Okay, I think I understand. We need to slam like that. Oh my gosh! Now you're learning! Oh yeah, I still have to defeat all the enemies, don't I? Uh, one more time. Boop. Was that not everyone? Oh yeah, there's still somebody over here. Whoops, my bad. Uh, got it. And now we're gonna continue. Stage complete. The traverse the stage to reach the exit for this one. Um, we need to set up our own thing. I need to get over there. That's gonna be the tough thing. I guess doing this would probably be a good idea. But getting up that way is gonna be really tough. Maybe I could just, hmm. Cause this like doesn't line up at all. Maybe I could just put like a platform here and then just try to jump over. But then move this over this way. Yeah, something like this, I don't know. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do though. I guess I, I could just, maybe this, we'll see. Worst case scenario, I just don't get the extra coins this level, you know? Not too big of a deal. There we go, that's all I wanted to do there. Whoa, <laughs> that was weird. Can I make this jump though? Yes, I can. Then I can fall down. I actually don't want to squish to bricks then, which is interesting. But hey, if it works, it works. Oh no, I can't make it across now. No, I gotta be able to make that jump. I think I can. I think I can if I do it like the last possible moment. Let me try one more time. Ah, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Let's go back to the building stage. This one's tough. Well, no, it's not too bad, actually. If I think about it, I think I know what I gotta do here. I just gotta be a little bit more careful with it and not take the bird out on the first time through. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Um, Go through like that. But can I even make that jump onto that platform? I didn't even test that. I sure hope so. Okay. Ready? There's no way. Well, no, yes, why? Oh, no! What do I do here, then? Can I? We'll see if that's a good idea. I mean, maybe it will be. That, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Okay, ready, boom. Bounce off of that. Let's get down here and then, or up here, ow. Okay, okay, that hurts. I might end up dying here because, oh no, we're just a mannequin now. Okay, like I said before then, the coins don't matter too much, do they? Ugh. There's gotta be a better answer. Um, So if I just, no wait, not what I want. And then just move this. And I'm sure there was like a much better answer that I just totally missed. I wonder if I could even, can I put a bouncy thing on top of, no, I can't. Hmm. I really don't know if this will actually be any better, but I will try it. Well, still though, I don't know. And then I want to be able to get up here. So like, I'm hoping that if I were to slam off this guy, that, that's not what I meant. Okay, that's so weird. I need that there then. 
Oh, you know, I was just getting it all mixed up, wasn't I? I get it now. So if I do this, I'm gonna get hurt a little bit because I'm clumsy. It happens. Uh, but, no, no. Oof. I think I can make that jump. Actually, I might have to tweak this a little bit. No, I can make that jump. No problem, no problem. And then I get over here. I give it a big slam and that's still not enough. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Wait, maybe the farther up I do it from? It doesn't seem to be the case. Actually, maybe. I still can't make that jump. That's so weird. I mean, okay then. I think I get it though. Maybe I'm still being very silly with this, but I think I just gotta do this. About here should be good, right? Play. The only problem is I can't get up there too easily. Whatever, I just wanna make my way through the level. It'll be okay. Boom. Got it. No problem. Awesome. Glad we got it done. Way to stick it to him. Phew, that was a challenging one. Ugh, my head. I may have the wrong suspect. I'm sorry for accusing you. From now on, all Excito sticker purchases from my shop come with a 1.625% discount. Ah, fine, you win. 2%. Wow, how generous. I wouldn't want you to want to put you out of business. That's a pretty steep discount. Hmm. Well, just don't go buying too much from me. Wait a minute. That's not what you used to say as a businessman. I'll see you around. Mike, it's getting late. Let's grab these groceries and head back home. Sure thing. Until next time, Zebra. All right then, so we helped Mike out here in a couple of different scenarios. Very interesting game so far. All right, we're going back to Bellevue now. Um, so it's a little bit different than I was expecting, but a pretty fun platformer game, to be honest with you. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of this game, if you want me to turn it into a full series, maybe I'll start from scratch so I can make my own character. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode on Drawn to Life, Two Realms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.